Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This person, they just want to be happy, man. They just want to be happy. I'm getting the sense that they've had a lot of other options in the past and you know what? Um, they don't want any of them, okay? They don't want any of them. I feel like there's only one person that they want, and that's you, and they're thinking about what they're going to say. They may feel kind of stuck. Uh, I feel like they're stuck in their life. You know, this this is somebody who um, maybe in the past they've made some um, impulsive decisions, okay? Maybe they've chased after the wrong kind of people. I feel like they've been entertaining karmic individuals. Um, maybe uh, people who are more easy to pick up on, okay? Maybe people who are codependent, don't have a lot of self-respect, that kind of thing. And um, now they're seeing things from a whole new perspective. See, this is somebody, I usually see this person as like the fool in this card a lot, the, this hangman. Okay, and I feel like they were chasing after whatever they saw that was um, attractive. Okay, they just went after it. They, they started third parties. They played with the wrong kind of people. But in the upright, I'm seeing this person as being like they get themselves stuck in situations they don't want to be in. But yet they're, they all always leave that situation feeling completely unfulfilled. You know, people may be chasing after them, that kind of thing. They don't want these kind of people anymore. They're seeing their life from a whole new perspective, okay? And now they're ready to make a change. They're ready to decide and uh, choose a new path, a new way of being, right? They, want, um, they don't want these karmic individuals anymore. You know, they don't want any more codependent people. They don't want any floozies anymore, however you want to put it, okay? They don't want that lifestyle. They want to feel some kind of ful fulfillment. They want to get some kind of happiness out of their life. They've been looking for love basically in all the wrong places. That's what, that's the song I'm hearing. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for love in too many faces, yeah. Um, yeah, this person is bringing an end to every other relationship that they may have started, okay? Um, and they're cutting people out kind of like um, in an executive way. This is making a big boss move, okay? Speaking their truth and putting the sword down, right? Um, speaking their truth and dropping the mic. That's pretty much what this is. Um, and cutting everybody out, everybody else, uh, they're just unfulfilled. So they're ending situations with multiple people, okay? I feel like this person was just, you know, maybe they were in it to have some fun, but now they've grown. They've gone from page energy to king energy, okay? They don't want any more karmic situations, they don't want to play with any more, you know, uh, bar flies or whatever, wherever they picked people up from. They don't want to do that anymore. They don't want to live a, a player lifestyle, right? Um, a fun boy kind of lifestyle. They want to grow up. Yeah, they're, they're sick of this um, toxic life, okay? Now this person wants to come forward to you. Now they're looking in your direction, collective. Um, they're seeing you in this Empress in the Minor Arcana energy, just a beautiful, stable, grounded, right? They're, they're kind of dreaming of a happy life here with someone. If you'll only accept them back after having such a toxic lifestyle in the past. I feel like this person put you in third-party situations. They may have thought that you were just like everybody else, but you're way different from everyone. You know your value. You're a high-value individual. You respect yourself. You're strong. You put your focus into things that you can grow for yourself. And this is who 
you're the kind of person now that they want to be with, okay? They don't want to play around with any of these karmic people anymore. They want the one that stands out above everybody else that they know, that they've played with, okay? And you're not about to chase after this person. You're not going to put up with any of their crap. And um, this is kind of what they want now. They, they want you. They want something dedicated. This person, they're coming towards you saying, I'm ready. Here's the thing, though. Because of the toxicity in the past, I feel like you may not trust this person now. Okay? They don't know if you're going to take them back or not. But I, I feel like they don't want to let you go. And I feel like this person now, now that they want to change their life around and they're looking at their mortality, you know, they don't want to be alone in their old age. They want something that's going to be strong and dedicated and built to last. Now they want you because they see you as the only one that they've met so far that can give them a long lasting relationship. Okay, yes, and the fact that you, I mean, you seem to have everything already. You've got this beautiful Ten of Cups energy, the Nine of Pentacles. You've, you've got it all except for a soulmate at your side. You're single, and, um, and you're focused on your own stuff, you know. You're focused on your own business, your own home life, the things that make you happy, this you're you're independent not codependent and this is what this person this is just one of the many things that they love about you okay yeah you may even have some kind of stardom here this is also a wish this is wish fulfillment you are their wish they know that you're attracting the attention of a lot of people and the energy that you're in right now too because see in this empress energy that you're in you don't need you don't need anyone um you're completely independent in your own right okay and you're out here on a major glow up you're looking absolutely stunningly beautiful okay um no matter what age you are and um you're the one they want they they see you as somebody that they can be truly happy with the rest of their life okay if only they can get you to accept their offer but they're coming towards you as a page they still i feel like they've grown but they're very nervous they know that you're going to have some things to say to them okay you're going to have questions for this person as you should the first one should be are you even single I feel like they're trying to avoid everybody else that they're walking away from here too because they are ending things and they're be these these feminines are chasing after them like crazy they're blowing up this person's phone sending them oodles of text messages all day all night um, whining complaining uh, begging okay that's something that you didn't do you're not going to do that. You put your focus into yourself. You're not going to chase anyone. You're not going to beg for anyone. You're not doing that. You're, you're an empress energy, star energy. So, I mean, I feel like this is one of the things that they're really tired of is being chased around all the time. And at one point, that may be what this person was expecting you to do. And you did it. You're different from everyone else that they know, everyone else they've ever met, okay? And they can't stop thinking about you. I feel like this person is very daydreamy, okay? They're thinking about how happy they would be if they, um, if they would have chosen you, if they, um, if they could ever get a second chance, right? Because they're thinking about how you treated them, and then they think about how they treated you. They may feel pretty disgusted with themselves right now because this person was a player. They were a player before. 
All they wanted was passion and moments of personal satisfaction, okay? But now all they want is that love, that love that you had to offer them at one point. Yep, and what did I say? They, they want a second chance at love. They want, um, they want this soulmate connection. But this person has manipulated you too much, put you in some kind of competition with other people. Not that you competed with anybody, but they made you feel like an option. Okay, and you're moving forward now, having this victory in life, being put through a battlefield from this person. You're successful, independent, uh, star energy being, you could have your own public platform, right? You could have a website, you could have a blog, you could have, you could just be on social media. You're definitely on a glow up. And I feel like now you're, you're kind of, um, you're attracting new things and new people to you, but like a magnet, but you're also um, in this very independent, strong energy. Like you are going to be choosy when it comes to a new love or anything else because you know your value and you're not going to accept anything less than what you deserve. Okay, you're moving forward with a lot of determination. You're leaving this person behind very quickly, and they know it. They could be very emotional right now as well. Yeah, look, you're leaving them behind, and you're keeping your moves hidden. and you're putting this behind you. Just as they want to come in now. See, this person has learned their lessons. They've learned that. You know, they were chasing after moments, moments of personal gratification, okay? Nothing long-lasting. This person didn't find anything long-lasting or even worth their effort this whole time in separation. You're literally the only person that they've ever met that they would want to spend the rest of their life with and, ch and change their life for. I'm getting, um, I want to say it's Hoobastank. <laughs> um, the reason. You're, um, oh, how does that song go again? You're the reason for this change. That they, you're the reason why they want this change in their life. Okay? Yeah, and you're this in this earth angel energy very balanced, okay, um, you, you've healed or you may still be healing from some painful memories, wanting to put all of that behind you, mixing up a new soulmate connection right now so you're manifesting here. They see you as being an angel. You could be divine feminine energy all the way. I mean, truly, you are the blessing. You could have given this person not just true love, but also a lot of abundance. Because if this person would have, if they would have known the value in the love that you gave them, they could have known um, what you were capable of. They wouldn't have second guessed you. Okay. And if they would have given you a good chance, right? Or if they would have stayed with you and chosen you and remained at your side, they could also have uh, this abundance. They could be building this with you. Look at all of these pentacles. I mean, you're very abundant here for crying out loud. The most you can have in the deck is 10. Okay, and you've got nine here just for you. They could have been building this at your side. Like this, you are total wish fulfillment for this person. Now. But before, they were still just a player, okay? And they realize that. This is somebody who literally, they're walking away from that lifestyle. They're walking away from everyone. Look at all of these cups. They're walking away from everyone for an earth angel, okay? You could be a Sagittarius, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, 
Yeah, they want they want to put the work in now. Collective, they do. I'm telling you, this person is in the, they came out on the bottom of the deck as the wounded warrior. This person now they may have even aged, right? Say you've been in separation from this person for years. This has aged them. I feel like this um, toxic lifestyle that they had of being a player, playing around, all the partying, all the women, I think it's tired this person out. You know, at some point, people just need to grow up. And this person grew up. They, they have grown. Um, and they're even, like I said, they're looking at their mortality. You know, they don't want to be like in their 60s, 50s or 60s, still playing the field and hitting the streets. So now it's time for them to settle down and they want to settle down with you. But I'm, I'm getting the sense that it may be too late. You know, and you know that if, if you can't trust somebody, really, what do you got? But, yeah, get ready because this person, they're coming towards you. They're coming towards you with a love offer and an apology, um, a legitimate offer. They may even bring you a gift or something like that. But, um, yeah, whether you take this person back or not, that's going to be up to you. Yeah, this is the one who broke your heart in the past. Okay, now they, they're realizing the value of love because this person is now, I feel like they're in love with you here. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, yeah, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They're very emotional, okay? I, and I feel like they get more and more nervous while, as they approach you, but they, they're hoping to change this around. They're hoping to change this around because now this person, yep, and I knew it, they're bossing up into an emperor. This is somebody who has learned a lesson from a toxic lifestyle, doesn't want it anymore, and is ready to make a life change. Okay. I feel like they, they're going to want to commit. So get ready. Because honestly. Um, I feel like this, this. The universe is giving this person. Like one shot. To come back in. And try to apologize. Okay. Because they, they truly do have good intentions now. And they want to turn their life around. But whether you give them a chance or not, that's completely up to you, okay? Oh, boy. Let's see how they're feeling. How is this person feeling about my collective? You know, I mean, they, at some point, like I said, people grow up. At some point, you have to grow up, you know? This person can't keep up with that lifestyle anymore, and they know it. All right, how is this person feeling about my beautiful collective? They're mad at themselves. They're angry with themselves because they resisted this connection for too long. And now they know that their chances are kind of slim to none that you're going to give them another chance. They're in a lot of regret for how they treated you, how they left you behind. This person's sorry. Um, they could be looking at some old photos. They may even be doing some crying. Um, yeah, they're in a state of depression. This person could still be numbing. They could still be doing some drinking. Maybe even a substance, okay? But they are wanting to change their life around. They're, uh, you know what? I feel like... Um, I feel like they're kind of begging that uh, you don't hate them, okay? They're begging that you do, they're praying, sorry, not begging. They're praying that you don't hate them. 
because they know they know what they did to you it was like publicly humiliating they made you feel used they made you feel violated there was a lot of talk about you maybe they know what they did to you yeah and they're panicking that um they're feeling some panic because they know that the, like i said after what they've done you may not take them back i feel like this person is about to give you a surprise visit and i i kind of am getting the sense that they're going to come to your house they may even be getting some encouragement from other people to come towards you i feel like you're going to be shocked at the change in this person it says shocked right down here you're going to be shocked at the change in them okay um i'm getting that they're yeah and they may even be wanting to move see they they want to make a complete life change for you if you have moved away because i can see travel here sorry about that you guys my battery keeps dying on me my equipment can't keep up with me <laughs> but anyway um if you have moved recently like um say you're living a quite a distance from them now right you're going to be really shocked when this person shows up at your house okay but yeah they are ready to make a massive change um they're in a lot of regret they're very angry with themselves and they're praying that you don't hate them okay um let's see what they want to say okay what does this person want to say to my collective What do they want to say to my beautiful collective? See, I'm trying to be someone you can trust. I told you, they want to turn things around. I hope the future will bring us together. Yeah. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. I'm so sorry for messing everything up. You didn't deserve, you deserve so much more. I don't know why I was going to say you didn't deserve it. And I feel like you didn't deserve it. I feel like you get, you were innocent. You gave this person nothing but love. Um, so yeah, they're sorry for messing everything up. I never experienced this intense connection before. I told you, you were different from everyone else that they've ever dealt with, okay? And I hope our paths will cross again in the future. Yeah. No matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. This person has fallen in love with you big time. So, um, yeah, get ready. This, they, they are going to shock you. <laughs> You're not going to be expecting this person to just show up at your door. Okay. Um, but they are about to. I love you too, darling. Have fun. Sorry, my daughter just was yelling at me. She's leaving. I had to say goodbye. So anyway, um, <laughs> sorry about that collective. Um, you know, it's a mommy thing, right? Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. But before you go, I want to show you the decks that I'm giving away for the Christmas giveaway, right? Um, all right, so we've got the Lucky Tarot, or the, sorry, the Lucky Journey Tarot. Beautiful deck. I love this deck. We've got the beginner tarot cards, really good um, if you are trying to learn how to read tarot. These are fabulous, okay? We've got uh, the Star Kiss deck. This is um, a beautiful deck. I, I own this deck myself, and I absolutely love it. Great for intuitive readers. And then we've got... The Cat Tarot, which I have to include in all of the giveaways, you guys, because it's so popular. And I got the Garbage Pail Kids deck, so you'll have another chance to win this one as well. Um, and to enter to win, all you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel. 
and type in the comment section the name of the deck you want to win. Okay, that's it. It's that easy. It's that easy.